Hello everyone and welcome to the video. We are going to be viewing a beautiful antique John Deere tractor collection. This collection was put together by a wonderful man that obviously loved his John Deere tractors and sadly he has recently passed but thankfully the family has kept a majority of the collection together and they're allowing me to come film it for you guys and a so big thank you to the family for allowing us to see this private and glorious John Deere tractor collection. It amazes me how many pristine antique John Deere tractors are in this collection. I have never seen this many John Deere tractors in one place, not even at a John Deere dealership or event like a farm show or anything like that. This is um, definitely something to see, that's for sure. And it's private, which is even crazier that one man put this entire collection together. And it's even crazier to think that there are more tractors in this collection than what you're going to see in this video. It sounded like they sadly had to sell off a couple of the tractors, the bigger tractors in the collection, ones with cabs, a bit newer, things like a, a 4010, a 4020, some of that bigger stuff that um, people might still use for work and it was worth a little bit more money and still sounds like it was pristine and beautiful much like the rest of the collection here so it's even crazier to think that there were more tractors in this collection As for the man who put this collection together, it sounds like he farmed from the 1960s to about the 1990s. And when he first started off farming, it sounded like he was milking 40 cows in an old stall barn, much like ours. Eventually, they added on and were milking up to 100 cows in a stall barn. It sounded like that was a pretty big deal for their family. That was a definitely... Uh, a big turn for the farm and for his farming operation eventually it turned into his retirement of putting this John Deere tractor collection together he started this collection in the late 90s he really enjoyed hunting down these tractors and hunting down parts for them and kind of putting them together and and bringing the whole collection together as a whole it sounds like he had purchased some of these tractors already restored and he had also had some of these restored after purchasing them. It sounds like a family friend slash neighbor helped out with restoring a lot of the tractors within this collection. And when it came to fixing tractors, on display within this collection is a tractor that had a tire that blew off the rim and uh, made a heck of a mess. And uh, the owner of the collection decided he wanted to leave it like that as a bit of a, a display piece. Let people know that things happen. That's part of owning heavy equipment. It's part of owning farm equipment. And um, it's also a good story to tell. It's a bit of a, a learning experience so he decided to leave it in the collection and I think it kind of adds it's a nice little uh, little display to view that's for sure As for this pole shed we're in, this amazing pole shed, it was built in September of 09. And as you can see, the concrete was dyed green when it was poured, and man, did it turn out beautiful. As you can see, there's mats on the floor as well, that fake turf or rugs or whatever you want to call them. 
all around to avoid leaving tire marks on the concrete as he was moving tractors throughout the shed. It also has a John Deere logo painted in the center of the shed. Talk about a family that bleeds green. This shed was solely built for this John Deere collection. And as you can see, looking at this collection, this man was very particular with how well he kept his things, how well he kept his property. And that translated over to when he was farming as well. It sounded like he was really old school and he loved tillage, but he loved tillage when it was squared up just perfect and laid out just beautifully. And he loved seeing black dirt turned over and in the farm nice and tidy waterways that were cleaned up and field edges that were straight as could be even after he stopped farming and started renting out the farm to nearby farmers it brought him joy to see his farm displayed beautifully just like this collection here I also wanted to say, talking to the family, it sounded like one of his favorite tractors was the one in the front right corner of this shed, that uh, John Deere R. But they also said that he probably really loved the John Deere 4020s and the John Deere A's because he had the most of those. He had four of each and it sounds like those were the type of tractors that he was farming with. So I think he had a soft spot for those tractors and those were pretty popular tractors as well. Between that John Deere R, the 4020s, and the A's, those most likely were his favorites. But with a collection like this, it was probably pretty hard for him to pick a favorite. So let's be honest, it probably depended on the day or the situation on what tractor would be his top pick. I know I would have a hard time picking my favorite. I wanted to remind you guys to um, subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you're enjoying it. Also, leave a comment down below what tractor stands out to you the most within this collection. Which one would be your favorite? Also, let me know what you guys think of this beautiful pole shed and how well it's put together. Lastly here, we're not quite done with the, the tractor collection. He also has a couple tractors in a nearby garage or a, a smaller pole shed. He's got four more tractors in there. He's got two A's, a B, and a 3020. I'm assuming this is where a lot of the work was done to him, at least swapping out parts and putting things together. It was more than likely done here in this shed. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you all for making it to the end. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking in this beautiful antique John Deere tractor collection along with me. Huge thank you to the family for allowing us to view this collection and for them allowing me to share it with you guys. Make sure to leave plenty of comments down below. Let us know which one was your favorite tractor. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos. We have a lot of different tractor collection videos on the channel, but that's going to be it. 
and we'll see you next time.